is Miss Kowalczyk here, and today's math lesson is going to be measuring using Play-Doh. So we're going to be ordering the length of Play-Doh from the shortest to the longest. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to, to create seven sticks with all different lengths using your Play-Doh. Now I've used the same color of Play-Doh. You can use different colors. Um, it doesn't really matter what you um, what length they are, just as long as they are all different lengths and then just lay them out on the table in any order that you're doing them in. So once you're done, it should look like this. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that they're all lined up at the bottom. That way you can make an accurate measurement of the size. And we're going to look and see which is the tallest. So looking at the top of each of them, and we can see that this one is the shortest. So we're going to put it at the front. So do the same with yours, and then move on to the next one. So looking for the shortest one now. So this one here is the shortest. So we then move it to the second one. And then continue through to see which one is the shortest every time. So that one's the shortest, so it's in the right spot. Then we go through and find the next shortest, which is this last one. So we move it into the fourth spot. And then we go for the last three, checking the measurement of them. So this one is our next shortest, which is in the right spot. Then our last two. So this last one's the shortest, so we need to move it into that spot there. And as you can see, all of my sticks are now going in size order from the smallest all the way to the biggest. Fantastic. Now we need to measure using a ruler. So get out your ruler and here we're going to be doing our measuring. So the first thing we need to do is line up zero at the end of our sticks. So it should look like this. Then we're going to move on and work our way down the ruler and find the closest centimeter that it is to. And as you can see here, it is at six centimeters. So then we write beside our um, stick, six centimeters. And then we're gonna move on to our next one. So we line up the zero at the end again, and then we work our way down our ruler to find our closest centimeter, which is seven centimeters for this one. So then we write seven centimeters. And then we start on the next one. So starting at zero, we work our way down our ruler. And this one's a bit different because it is halfway between eight and nine. So that means it is eight and a half centimeters. We haven't written half centimeters before, but it's just as if we're doing half of a fraction. So we write eight and a half centimeters. Another way of writing eight and a half is 8.5. So 8.5, and we can't forget those units, so centimeters. Then we're going to work our way on to our next one. So we line up the zero just like before, work our way down the log or down the stick, and here you can see it's at 10 centimeters. So we write down the measurement, 10 centimeters, and then working our way to our next one. So starting at zero at the end of the stick, working our way down the stick, and you can see here it's 11 centimeters. So then we write 11 centimeters. And then we work our way on to the next one. So we line up our um, ruler at the zero at the end of the stick, work our way down, and here you can see that it's halfway between 14 and 15. So we're going to use a half centimeter again. So 14 and a half centimeters, or the other way to write it is 14.5 centimeters. And then our last one, we line up the zero at the end of our stick, just like all the others work our way down the ruler to see where the stick ends. And as you can see here, it ends at 19 centimeters, which is quite a big stick. So then we write the measurement beside it, 19 centimeters. And as you can see, our measurements get from smallest to biggest, but obviously your measurements aren't going to be the same as mine. So I would like you to comment with your measurements in the comments below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.